Before we jump into the unboxing of the new InMotion RV uh, Starlink, which is a monster, don't forget to subscribe if these videos help you out. And hit that little bell as well because we're going to be doing a whole series on the installation, uh, you know, whether it's, it's better than the regular RV model, uh, speed test, the integration into our pathway, all those types of things. All right, let's get to it. So the InMotion RV high performance dish isn't supposed to ship until December and it's November 4th. November 4th. So we wanted to share this with you. Let's get at it. Unboxing the new Starlink in motion. What does it look like? Yeah, so first of all, okay, the box is a lot larger. It's about double the size mm -hmm. of the regular, uh, and it's about twice the weight. So the dish is laying face down. I've heard from a couple folks that they received these and they were busted into a lot of pieces uh, and were no longer watertight, but this one looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, so what we have is this dish, it's a heavy beast. Um, it's basically two. So if you bifurcated this right down the middle, it would be about 11 and a half inches and that's what this thing is. It's a 22 and a half, or almost 22 nine, and it's 20 inches, so it's two of the standard dishes in dimension. It has right here on the side uh, the input for the cable, and all of the cables are not the standard cables that we've been receiving with the other RV or residential kits. They are different, uh, and they're shorter. They're about eight meters. So if you have to go over eight meters, you have to wait until they make those. Uh, on the back also are a bunch of screw holes, four of them, one in each corner, that will go to the wedge mount. Now hopefully the wedge mount is included because I've been hearing reports that it is not showing up with people's orders. So anyhow, that's the dish and it's pretty thin. It has a bit of an angle to it itself, but we'll put this to the side and see what else we have. Uh, the protective piece of cardboard between the two actually has some nice mounting holds. Uh, you can use it as a template as well. So that should work out pretty well. Now, what's exciting in this box? Hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's <laughs> some crazy stuff. And I had a chance to read about this. The, it has a router. And this is the standard router that you get with all the different Starlinks. The model number is identical. Uh, and it has this nice bracket so we can hang it somewhere if we have an AV closet on your RV or in your boat. You can just snap that in and mount it up off the floor, which is cool. Um, we also have a power supply because the power supply that's in this router will power up the standard RV and residential, but it, it draws too much wattage uh, to be able to be powered off of this router. So that's what Carlin has, is the power supply for this monster. It's kind of heavy. Yeah, um, we've seen when it powers up, it's over 200 watts, so it's thirsty. It's definitely twice the power draw of the standard RV one, but then again, uh, it's supposed to have twice the coverage. Um, it also melts twice the uh, the snow, and that kind of makes sense. It's just physically this, you know, double the size, so it's gonna it's gonna drive double the wattage. But it's a monster. If you're on a boat or an RV, uh, you know the standard one was drawing just a little bit less, sometimes over 100 watts, and, and obviously this is drawing just over 200 watts. And when it goes to idle. Uh, we've been seeing reports already that it's, you know, it's hovering right in that 60, and then when you start doing uploads of files, you're bumping over 100 watts. So that's a pretty big light bulb. Uh, and when you're on batteries on a boat uh, and you have an inverter, that can draw through your power. We have lithium iron phosphate, and we have 21 kilowatt of power and a 10,000 uh, watt inverter. So we're not too worried about the power draw. We're going to be okay. But that is a consideration, I think, for people uh, in a standard RV and or boat. 
Now, what's cool about having both of these in the sense, if you look at this, it's like, holy lord, uh, that's a lot of equipment to uh, have to have to put in, in the boat. Um, you can, if you have a router system like a, a pep wave uh, that can actually serve as a router, so you don't need this router. What's nice about what they've done, we've got a lot of cords here, I apologize. This one is your standard plug-in. It's just going to plug into the wall. We'll take that off. This one plugs into the dish. This, with the larger triangle, goes into the dish. This one will go into this power supply. All these cords are a larger gauge than we've seen mm -hmm. from the standard RV one. So they definitely beefed up these cables. Um, the general cables are closer in diameter to what you're seeing here on the ethernet cable. And these are just, it's a larger cable. So that's what's gonna go from the dish to this power supply, which makes sense. It's drawing a ton of wattage up to over 300 watts. But this is the cool part. This particular cord is standard RJ45. It can go directly into your modem. And if you have two of these, which we will have two, um, we're actually gonna have a standard RV that does not support mobility or in motion. And we're gonna have this one that supports in motion so that we're covered in, in both scenarios. And then we can be able to bond them both together, WAN bonding they call that, and WAN smoothing. And then that way, if one hiccups, the other one will be carrying uh, on for making sure that we're in, you know, it doesn't drop calls, those types of things. Uh, so that's why we're going to put two of these in. But it's cool that this cord comes this way. So we can basically get rid of this modem right off the bat. Um, and so what we'll be able to do is unplug the power supply from the modem. We'll be able to plug in this handy dandy RJ45 that's going to go directly to our, our modem, which is the PEP wave or PEP link modem. And then this cable will go directly in here, and this will connect to our dish. There we go. I'll connect to our dish. And that connection, that big monster one, that was the first time we've seen this uh, on any of their equipment, yeah, nice but this one probably supports their IP56 versus IP54, which again means it can take a direct jet of water versus a spray of water, which this sitting on top of a boat is probably important. It's a good thing. Yeah, so that's cool. We really only are gonna need this power supply. It is a monster. So anyway, this, this is gonna be going by the wayside on our setup. Um, I will say what is interesting is your power supply, if you're gonna use both of these, needs to be powered and your router also needs to be powered. So if we kind of untangle these and you look, there's a power supply that's going into this because you have to power this router and then this would go to the power supply. So you're gonna have to have two 120 volt hookups for this bad boy if you're using both of these. So let's try this, check this out. Fingers crossed, look at that. You know what's missing? Our wedge mount. And this was supposed to come with a wedge mount. So what? I know, we'll be getting hold of Starlink and asking them, where's our wedge mount? Because mm. it was supposed to be included with the setup. So we won't be installing anything anytime soon until we get that mount. Mm. Uh, however, we will hook this up this next week and report back on what kind of performance we're seeing. Uh, is it able to deal with obstructions that are nearby versus you know, the standard RV uh, dish? Uh, I expect that it can because of the size of this thing, but We'll see. So we'll update you uh, sometime this next week on what's going on. Will we get a wedge mount? Do you have to order them separate? I don't know. How does it perform? Well, we'll do all those things. As a quick update, we shot an email to support saying that we didn't get the wedge with this. Guess what? They got right back to us, apologized, said they'd get it right out to us ASAP. So problem solved. We'll let you know when we get it and we'll do our more in-depth review.